How can youth entrepreneurs help address the urgent environmental challenges facing the world today? How can we create an ecosystem that enables green entrepreneurs to thrive? ILO's third policy dialogue under the South Asia Leadership and Entrepreneurship Program sought to advance this critical conversation. Titled, Promotion of Green Entrepreneurship for Youth, the forum explored the concept of green entrepreneurship and the crucial need for businesses to adopt eco-conscious and sustainable practices. For uh, youth aspirant entrepreneurs, it's really a, a very important time to uh, change the, the tide and the ways in which we've been working. The Paris Agreement that, is, uh, that was adopted in uh, 2015, and that was the first international treaty on climate change that brought in uh, the businesses together with the government stakeholders and all the other stakeholders. Green entrepreneurship is fundamental to building a truly sustainable green economy, one that is defined by low carbon usage, maximum resource efficiency and real social inclusivity, while prioritizing ways to safeguard ecosystems and biodiversity. As a country that is home to many startups specializing in green business ideas, Sri Lanka has immense potential to develop into a model green economy. However, becoming a successful ecopreneur in the country is not without its challenges. The policy dialogue facilitated discussions on both the hurdles and the critical steps needed to overcome them. So when it comes to green entrepreneurship, we believe it's, a, it's still a growing sector within Sri Lanka. So we had the issue as to how and uh, from where the green entrepreneurs can get funding from. In addressing the need for access to sustainable finance, expanding funding support from key institutions, including government and multilateral organizations towards green entrepreneurship is necessary. Green entrepreneurship must also claim a greater presence in the business world. There is a serious lack of recognition given to green entrepreneurs in Sri Lanka. And given that the future in such an anthropogenically fast-changing economic and financial world, green entrepreneurs need that space. Addressing this issue, as well as the regulatory barriers currently facing today's ecopreneurs, requires certain crucial steps. Among them are greater accreditation of green businesses, better monitoring and evaluation mechanisms, and legislative reforms that encourage the creation of a circular economy. Additionally, improved national coordination and intra-governmental steering committees will ensure sustained support towards the growth and scalability of green enterprises. Progressive education policies are another key avenue that will promote green entrepreneurship. Introducing green concepts through specialized training programs for educators and students alike is vital to ignite ideas for green businesses among youth. We need to showcase that there is a platform for them to come and speak and have that dialogue so that it'll, it'll help them in the, in, in the future. Sri Lanka is still in the early stages of becoming a green economy. Policy dialogues like this that advance conversations and spark insights are a crucial first step towards creating a cohesive and collaborative environment between all stakeholders in the green entrepreneurial space.